Now, to make sure that we all understand the control structures and how to generate random numbers, let's implement a small game. And it goes something like this. When you start the game, uh, it basically just tells you that the game has started and uh, it wants you to input the smallest number and the biggest number. Now, after you've inputted those numbers, it will generate a random number that now you have to guess. And whenever you give it a guess, it will tell you if you're above or below the generated number. So at some point you will guess uh, the number that the program generated and then you win. There is no way of losing in this game. My favorite type of games. It sounds simple, but it actually checks a lot of things. For example, this is the first game that actually has a game loop. You will actually have to wait for the user actions input in order to continue the execution of your program. Also, it will check different conditions, like you have to check if something is happening, then do this. If something else is happening, then do that. So all the if statements will come handy in here. And of course, the program generates a number. So now you will be able to play with all the random number generation that we discussed uh, before. So good luck and have fun. And if you do have any questions, then leave a comment below or in the discussions that I will also link below this video. And of course, the link to the formal definition of this homework is also below this video. Thank you, and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.